Bedding plays a very important role in your worm bin. It helps with aeration, it provides the carbon that is needed for good quality worm castings, it helps with compaction, it also provides food source for your worms, it absorbs the extra moisture that is in your worm bin, and so much more. Hi, I'm White Davy from White Davy Garden and Worm Farm. Today we are going to be looking at the various types of bedding that can be used in your worm bin. But before I get started, let me apologize for the way my eyes look. <laughs> I'm supposed to be recording five videos today and as it turned out, I'm having serious allergies with my eyes. So if you see them running a lot of water or me rubbing them, you know what's happening. <laughs> As you're getting ready to start your worm bin, you may wonder what are your options where types of beddings are concerned. I've got good news for you. You have many options to choose from. When you're starting your worm bin and you are looking at your options, you may choose to use one type of bedding or a combination of beddings. Each of the various type of beddings have their own advantages and disadvantages. So the best option really is to use a combination of beddings. And one of the things that I recommend is that you use what is readily available in your area and also depending on what you're looking for in terms of bedding quality. So one of the material that you can use for bedding is aged manure. And notice I said aged, not just manure, but aged manure. And this can include anything like cow dung, rabbit dung, pig dung, goats, sheep, whatever, chickens. What you want to ensure, however, is that you are not using the dung from your pets because these are prone to various types of pathogens that may be harmful for your garden. Other options include things like unbleached, shredded paper, shredded cardboard, peat moss, soil, and if you're using soil, it is recommended that you use it in combination with other type of beddings because this will compact and you use soil if you are raising night crawlers because these are burrowing worms. So soil is the least preferred type of bedding of all the beddings that are going to be mentioned here. You may also use hay or straw, grass clippings or cocoa coir. You can use dried leaves and and your other option is finished or aged compost. So these are your options for bedding in your worm bin. As I said before, you may choose to use a combination of beddings and some beddings can be costly if you have to purchase them. And so I'd recommend that whatever is readily available around you, let that be your source of bedding, especially if you're concerned about having to purchase bedding on a continuous basis. One of the things that you need to know about beddings is that you don't just had bedding at the time when you are creating the worm bin. You need to have bedding throughout the worm farming process. So for example, depending on how much bedding you start off with, if you fill your bin with bedding, then you don't have to have bedding um, often but if you start off with say four or six inches of bedding then a good practice would be with each feeding if you're feeding once per week or every two weeks you ensure that you had not a lot but a bit of bedding in combination with whatever food source you're giving your worms so if you find this video educational and you would like to see more videos like these please take a moment to give me a thumbs up. You can leave a comment in the section below. If you're new to my channel, 
please subscribe and turn on your notification for more updates like these. Thank you so much for watching and have yourself a wonderful day. Yaman, yeah, a time for growth.